It's another Friday and we're getting to know another interesting personality. My guest today will inspire you and also make you understand the issues that is going on within the colleges of education. Stay tuned and back in different. Welcome back to Ghana College Daily. My guest this morning is the high profile and presented person and he is the person of Elder Dr. Peter Ofori Atakwa, the principal for HDA College of Education, Aguna Ashanti. Currently, he is the sports chairman committee for Prinkov Ashba. That he want to know something about you. Yeah. I am Elder Peter Ofori Atakwa, the kid. Uh, I come from Kofiasi in the Ashanti region. I had my basic education at Kofiasi and then my secondary education at Mampu, St. Joseph College of uh, St. Joseph uh, SHS. After that, I continued at Mampu, Technical College of Education. So I have my degree. From there, I went to UCC for my first degree, UCC for my second degree, and then I went outside. For my PhD. Currently, I'm the principal of the SGA College of Communication in Ashanti Wow. Thank you very much, and, and I'm really happy. Not surprised that uh, you, you are a, a student from Mount Point Technical College of Education. Indeed. Daddy, we want to know which year did you resume the position as a principal of this college? Yeah. The school was established in 2013-2014 academic year and it was a private institution. I resumed uh, responsibility as a principal, but at that time it was a private. Until in September 2017, when government absorbed the institution. So they declared a uh, vacancy to that effect of the principal. However, the interviewed and then I was appointed. So I was appointed officially on the, level, uh, on the 1st uh, November 2018 was the principal of the Kohan government absorbed the administration. Wow. But during the private one, I, I was the principal. But when the government absorbed the institution, uh, the first was wow. And then my appointment took effect from 1st November 2018. Well, thank you very much, Daddy. We still want to know more about you. Mm. Ever since you assumed this office, I have heard a lot, mm. and we want to get it from you officially. Mm. And Daddy, we want to know since your assumption as the principal of this college, what are some of the things that the school has been able to achieve? Yeah, I, I will start from the infrastructure awards. When the school, we started the school, the hall of residence for males, they, they didn't have. So we put up one for them. The current one that you will see over there, we will we, we put up that one. Then the female hall of residence, it wasn't all that good. Uh, we did some renovation, and as currently as we talk about, We've also extended the female hall of residence and the female department. Again, we've started 18 minute lecture theater and auditorium. And that one you can see the, that the contractor is on site and actually is going through that one. So basically, in the infrastructure works, we've done something uh, remarkable. As we speak now, we just started and even uh, the person is sitting waiting for me. Wafa and the TBT. Now the school is now can also go of Wafa and the TBT. That we are going to connect all the tutors and students to Wafa so that in the academic area we can get Wafa for more research and work. Besides that one, We've done a lot of renovation as so far as the academic area is concerned. So you see the beauty of the college. Apart from that, in the area of academics, 
majority of our students, in fact, we produce a lot of students. And I can say that as we speak now, about over 2,000 students that we produce since the inception of the college, and all of them are outside teaching. If we talk about even the recent one, uh, we had three first class students. Three first class students. And then second class upper, plenty. Second class we have plenty. So we are saying that almost all our students who pass through this place, all of them normally at the end of the day they pass with a very remarkable uh, grades. Okay. So in the academic wise we can say that we achieve a lot. Then in the discipline wise, our students are very disciplined. If you go to other institutions, uh, you cannot compare them to that of our students. Our students are very disciplined, very, very disciplined. So in their discipline wise, always they want to follow the leader rules and regulations. And that is the hallmark of the discipline, because we cannot achieve anything without discipline. So our students are also disciplined. So in the discipline wise, and then in the, in the spiritual wise, because the school is also an Adventist institution, and then in the spiritual wise, we are also training them. Because, you know, we have to train three H. You have to train the head, and that is the academics. You have to train the hand, and that one is very good. But if you don't train the heart, the person will go out and also do something different. Wow. So we are training the three H, and that is what we are doing. So if you look at the the vision and the mission of the college fills that one with that of the GTEC. We see that we are moving forward. So, in the infrastructure wise, in the academic wise, in the spiritual ways, and all areas, we are not performing badly at all. Thank you very much, viewers. We are speaking to the high profile, as I stated earlier. And he, he is the person of Elder Dr. Peter Ofori Atakra, and he is the principal of this college. That he wants still to engage more. All right. Because when we came here, you could see the environment is, is very, very high conducive. And as you were saying, the discipline issue, I really testify from the student side that he wants to act um, as you being the chief executive officer of this college. At times, the system will be proper and your management, the SLC, tutors and students may not side up with you. I mean, why always you are not giving up? What is your motives? If you are a leader and you want everybody to side with you, <laughs> it is impossible. But if you are a leader, you shouldn't uh, give up. Even if your colleagues are not siding with you so far as certain issues are concerned. What you have to do is to engage them. Further engagement. If it is from the staff front, you engage them. If it is from the student front, you engage them. And when you continuously engage them, they will understand your philosophy, they will understand your vision, and they will understand your mission. But if you don't continuously engage them, and you think that, oh, maybe for first instance, oh, they, they, didn't, they, they didn't agree with you and they said, oh, go away. They will continuously worry you and you cannot achieve your aims and objectives as a leader. So as a leader, you need to do a lot. Teamwork is very important. So that's why I will not give up even if my tutors, my management, my students are opposing to certain things. You need to engage them very well for them to understand your philosophy, your mission, your vision. Wow, wow. Viewers, today I'm, I'm hoping that you, you, are, you are being blessed since we are engaging our principal. But we, we, we can attest to the fact that 
you cannot establish any institution without facing any challenges. You can achieve 100%. And I could see around that there are some challenges, but I want to inquire from you. What are some of the challenges that you are facing here that you want the various stakeholders to also to come in? Yes, we are facing some challenges. You use the right word. Some people normally say that uh, you are facing problems. We are facing challenges, challenges. and you use a very good way. Thank you. The thank first you. one has to do with college bus. Now we need college bus to take our students for supported teaching in schools. In the olden days, we call it uh, uh, teaching practice. Now, in view of the new curriculum, the students should go to the in various schools and come back. And we don't have college bus to take them to the various schools. So our students walk to those areas and come back. And it is not helping in the academic exercise. Our tutors also the same. So the first challenge is the college bus. These stakeholders will come to our aid and let us have college bus. I think it will be very good for us. Similarly, we want female hall of residence. But where can we do where, but we've done renovation work. But where they are now, personally, I'm not happy. So we wish that the government and stakeholders will come to our aid and give us female hall of residence. Again, but we have 18 minutes lecture chapter that we started when the school was in the hands of private. Government is now continuing. We want that one to we want that one as quickly as possible. If you finish that one for us, because at the top we have auditorium where we can meet. Because where we are meeting now, we call it great. It's not. So if that edifice is completed, we can have a auditorium at the top where we can use it for school campus. So we are facing all these most small challenges, and we want the school also to be warm. Boiling of the school is very important because some people just pass here because it is not war, people pass here and come here at any time. So boiling of the school or fencing of the school is very crucial so far as uh, one of the so far as the political issues are concerned. And with that we get some people to help us to fence the school so that people cannot walk any time into the school territory. Thank you very much. If you just joined the channel, we are speaking to the Chief Executive Officer. And as I said, he's a high profile man holding his PhD. That is not easy. It is not easy. And he, he is the person of Elder Dr. Peter Ufuri Atakra. But don't forget, he has married one woman. Thank you very much. And then if we want to we want to continue, we heard that colleges are to run something similar to the double track system this academic year and we would like to know why Penkov chose that um, option yeah you see colleges are related to other public colleges now the pandemic has come there is a need for us to adopt certain strategies that will also help us also to protect our students. Now if you say all of them should come, now the social distance is at stake. Observing the protocols are also at stake. So bring up together with the UCC and JTEC and government decided that let us do what is known as some a level of a uh, double track system and this one is not complete the uh, double track system we engage students whilst they are at home online learning it has come to stay so we engage them whilst they are at home tutors engage them then they come to face to face we engage them they write their exams so more or less if you go to the european world um, majority of their students are outside the school premises. So we need to adopt some 
pragmatic measures so that we can meet the students' desire, meet the government desire, and meet the stakeholders' desire. Wow. That's why we are trying to do those things, so that we will not bring all of the students on the compound, our campus, and at the end of the day, the disease, the pandemic, COVID-19, before we can say anything, majority of them have been infected. We don't want that. That's why we are doing the shift system. And God be so good. We have done. We registered even one person. They came, wrote their exam, they went. We didn't see anything. So it was a perfect decision by our leaders. So that's why we are doing those things. So that we will not we will follow the protocols and we also protect our students as a group. Wow. And wow. our uh, tutors as well. Wow. That's why we are doing those things. Wow. And it is helping a lot because the tutors are engaging the students online, learning. UCC has created a platform, the portal, you go there, everything that we need is there. Face to face, we also engage them. At the end of the day, you write your exams, you write your quizzes, and then all these things into the system. Wow, Daddy still want to engage on this matter because it's very, very crucial and uh, it happened the, 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 the students. Yeah. So we want to know for how long would this person will, will last in it the will, system? It, 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 will not, it will not keep so long. It will not keep so long. You see, we are putting up a lot of infrastructure. Gavin is coming to support us. Very soon we we'll get more infrastructure. But the, 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 the aim is that we don't want you to come and maybe social distance and certain things we cannot observe them. That's what we are doing that for. We are trying to put up more infrastructure to care for them. So very soon, I think. And then we are also praying to God that very soon the disease also will also vanish from our shores. And then we will also wow. do that. God government is using important some and so on and so forth. So very soon, <laughs> we will not experience those things anymore. Wow. So we are praying that very soon uh, we will stop wow. the system. Wow. Viewers, um, there is one thing I didn't speak about this man. When we came on campus, we, we, we tried to engage the students about the, the, the chief executive officer have been using the word, the principal of this college. And they mentioned one name. That he is the man of justice. That he, why students are calling him by that name? Yeah, you see, um, it is very important that always we allow justice to prevail. Wow. Go according to rules and regulations. If you go according to rules and regulations, nothing will happen to you. Wow. But if you go contrary to the rules and regulations, you see, the law has no respect for anybody. We must deal with you according to the law. And that's why, me, if, whether you are my wife, you are my child, you are this, you are that, if you go contrary to the rules and regulations, the law must deal with you. And, and that one is very simple. And that's what people call me man of justice. justice. Because I will do it with you. But when it comes to the law, and you go contrary to the rules and regulations, whether you are my son, my daughter, the law, will deal with you. And that's why people will see you to be fair and fair. So, throughout my educational career, <laughs> anywhere I go, people call that me, man of justice. And I want to be just to everybody. Wow, wow. Viewers, indeed, I'm, I'm, I'm highly happy today to get such a high profile and I'm having such interview with him. Daddy, we still want to engage with you to know more. Students are struggling with their academics, as in online studies and face-to-face. -face. We want to know your piece of advice to them. As compared to during your time, I could see that not just that you, you simply became the principal of the college, you went through a certain process. 
a certain pain, but you didn't give up. We want you to use the kind of experience you had in life to motivate us, though we are facing a lot of challenges in, in, the, in the context of the online studies. So what is your advice to the student? Yeah, in this life, nothing is taken as simple. If you get anything very simple, very easy, then that thing is not worth waiting for. You see, you are going through some challenges so far as uh, network studies are concerned. You must adjust to the situation. You see, during our time, there wasn't any even hmm, there wasn't any network issues. We didn't even have uh, electricity, anything. Why? We just use lantern and the rest. We decided that we want to change the situation. If you consider the secondary school that I attended, nobody was passing. Those who were leading us, somebody passed. Then I told myself that if nobody is passing, I will pass. And during our time, five people passed. And we moved to a certain level. Now, this is the issue of the day. Online learning has come to stay. Adjust yourself to the situation. If maybe you have some problems, see your colleagues. Some of you are very good. Some of you are veterans so far as network issues are concerned. Go to them, learn from them, and then add it to your knowledge. Because whether you like it or not, even if you want to do research, you need to go to the system. If you want to do, you need to Google, you need to do this, you need to do that. So what advice that I will give to the students is that whether you like it or not, it has come to stay. Now adapt to the situation. You see, adapt to the situation. If you look at some theories, I give theory, you say that you need to uh, adopt your situation, adopt yourself to the situation. So now that is what is prevailing in the world today. So adopt to the online learning situation. If you have a problem, consult your colleagues, consult your tutors, consult people with high caliber so far as those network issues are concerned, so that you can also move with them. Wow. Thank you very much, Daddy. Viewers, indeed, we, we are highly, as I've been always saying this, it is not easy to be with high profile man like this. And truly, I believe his words are going to have impact on the student. That before we end everything, there's one thing that students were crying about it, which is the reduction of school fees. And we want to inquire from you why that students were crying that there should be a reduction of school fees, but it didn't take effect. Do you have any first hand information about it? Uh, school fees are normally determined by them. We take the school fees to the parliament for parliament to approve. So what parliament approved is what we give it to you. So I don't have anything to say <laughs> because parliament will approve the school fees and we give it to the students. For about three years now, government has not allowed us to even increase the fees. Wow. If you compare and contrast, check your school fees. Government has not asked it to do the school fees. But I believe about 2% increment. Wow. So parliament will approve before we give it to you. Wow. So the school fee that you are paying is very manageable. Wow. US my colleague um dear colleagues outside um we, we want to clear this doubt in the system that it is the prim cough that determines our school fees no 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 no, no. so Pimkov, from no. our principal he's saying that the reduction whether we increase or we reduce the school fees it is not determined by prim cough rather determined by the parliament yeah we send it to the parliament for parliament to approve it so what parliament will approve is what we give you to you. wow Daddy, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, my name is Safo Besmak and from Ghana College TV. Thank you very much, US, and God bless you all.